Hey, welcome back everybody. So today I want to touch up on being more flexible in your medium tank. I have a couple games here to show you guys today on what I like to do uh, with certain scenarios that you may come across in game frequently. Recently I've been seeing a lot of medium players just kind of uh, sticking to one side of the map or just taking a position and then just planting themselves there. like. TVs. And it's that type of playstyle that I notice it contributes to losing the game. I mean, I get it, you know. I get tunnel vision all the time. And sometimes it's hard to just kind of assess what's going on during the battle and kind of adapting towards it. Because we're on one side of the map and maybe the other flank is failing. And as a medium player in a mobile tank, I kind of feel it's your responsibility to pick up the slack where it's needed. So let's get into it. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So for our first game, we're playing Outpost. This is one of the new maps War Game came out with. Um, personally, I don't really like this map, but it is what it is. So beginning of the game, I head off to the uh, Basically a zero line, because at the beginning of the game for me, it's just all about farming that early game damage. And at this point in time, it's just kind of just chilling. Nothing's really happened yet, other than the enemy team rushing the hill and dying. I see that my north is engaged with their heavies and uh, assault TDs. So there's only three tanks up there. So judging what's on the field, it does not really look good for them um, unless they're just really in great positions but based on the positions that they are on the map it, it looks like they're overextended uh, so I keep my eye on it our first tank in the north goes down I keep my eye out second one goes down in my mind the moment my AE goes down I'm planning to rotate because we'll definitely lose the north. Right then, I turn around and I go. I ping the map, tell everyone where I'm going, see if anyone wants to provide backup. No one does. They're doing their own thing. And so I just go alone. And in this situation, I rotate all the way around, all the way to F1. that's a very strong spot most of the time TDs like to camp there but everyone's gone no one's on this side I have a BZ that's that's and a T32 that's defending so first priority as I move into this position is to get rid of the mid the lynx and the cobra uh, after that's done I can start working on the heavies on the northern flank I spotted 257, uh, which tried to take advantage of moving along the wall. But now that I'm here, he's kind of stuck. He, he's dead stop, has to play in a corner. Uh, Scorpion hits me once, that's fine. So right now I'm just kind of poking and pushing. Now that I'm in this position, they can't move, like they're dead stuff. They can't push forward. They can't do anything. The object can't move forward. The TD can't move forward. The two, at just the whole northern flank is completely stopped. So now I just basically farm. I poke and repeat. That's it. Heavies are now dead. I get to farm this 257. I don't really care about pushing anymore because with his gun handling, uh, it won't hit me. I spot the Scorp. Take him out. And that pretty much seals the game. 
I wasn't here, they, the T-34 would have died. Because with the combination of the 257, the Scorpion, and the rest of their heavies, it would, they would have overwhelmed the T-34. So It's just uh, those decisions that you need to make. And being able to recognize those situations and adjusting your gameplay and hopefully win the game because that's that's the end result right winning the game and having fun that's it uh, let's jump to the next game this this one's a little bit more chaotic uh, the start of the game I go to a very uh, I go to a very standard position where I go in spotlights. Hopefully, start to nail some lights. There are three lights on their team, so it's a it's a duck shoot. So you just kind of peek and shoot. Pretty standard stuff. Sometimes they'll have somebody in the back trying to snipe you, which is fine. But if you just play it well enough and you time your shots right with them crossing. But yeah, this early game, uh, I would just, I would be here and snipe lights or just kind of shoot lights. You shoot them down to a point where they get scared. They don't want to lose any more HP and then they just run off. That's basically their psychology. If they don't die, that's the case like 9 out of 10 times. Like look at this ELC. He took a hit, one last hit and he's gone. He's never coming back. So now I see that there are a bunch of BZs down here, which kind of sucks. My TV takes a hit. He's wide open. The light tries to come around and flank us. I get spotted and shot by the Borsig. Now here, I thought about shooting the Borsig, but I saw the BZ come up and I just bolted. It's not, it's not that it's not the right play. I just, it's, it's sometimes it's better to not be greedy. And so I run. I run and reposition myself around the, the M103, and I just kind of farm him. Like he has, n he can't. There's no way he can counter me other than getting on the other side. And you just sit here and you farm this guy. The rest of my team, they're stuck on the other side of the tracks, fighting BZs, and so I just need to take, get rid of this heavy. And now I relocate myself back towards the other side and wait for the BZs to turn the corner. Put one into the BZ and I just kind of wait. Now, there's only two of us here. They're gonna push. So immediately I rotate again. I, I rotate fast because it's not ideal to do a three on two. I try to exit, but the Progetto is blocking my way. And so I go the long way around. So what happens now is they're in the open. I have a spot here that I've rotated to where I can just peek and shoot. And once again, just rotate and farm. It, it's that mentality of knowing when to pull back and get to a better position rather than duking it out in a tank that's not really meant for fighting uh, heavies. So I'm in a paper tank, uh, I have to relocate. There's really no question about it. It would be really dumb to just face tank three heavies and hope that, you know, get in the damage. So I'd rather relocate, save my HP and get more damage. Hopefully, you know, outplaying them. So I hope you guys maybe learn some stuff today and 
use it in your games to come. Also, uh, let me know in the comments if you like or dislike my video. It, it really helps to hear that feedback. But yeah, until next time.